Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to Mojo for Industry Development debate on electrical safety tips powered by Captain Electrical Industries. In next one and a half hour, we are going to discuss and debate on the electrical safety tips. And today I'm glad to welcome our distinguished panelists, Mr. Sigopal Kabra, Managing Director and Group President, RR Global. Mr. Pankaj Dharkar, Founder and President of Pankaj Dharkar and Associates. Welcome, sir. Mr. Harold D'Souza, Regional Commercial Manager, British Approval Services for Cables, that is uh, BASEC. Now, without further ado, we will turn the time over to our opening speaker, Mr. Pankaj Dharkar. I would request him to set the tone of the session by highlighting the status of electrical fire safety in India and vulnerability of Indian buildings towards electrical fire. So electrical fire constitutes a significant percent of total number of building fires every year. But underlying the reasons quoted by most news reports on the cause of fire is just an electrical short circuit. And electrical fires are most cases a direct result of overheating of the cables, equipments, our components in electrical networks. And actually the fire factors which cause electrical fire can also be linked to poor power quality issues in the electrical network, which needs to be monitored and minimized on a regular basis to avoid fires. And if you try to analyze it, uh, you know, wire insulation damage is one of the major causes. Old or damaged insulation may allow neutral and hot wires to touch, which can cause the short circuit. Computer and other equipment loads lead to heating of electrical network slowly and damaging the insulation over time and finally leading to short circuit. Overcurrent protection devices fail to operate sometimes. Then the high current leads to overheating of excessive insulation, causing ignition of cable at much smaller overloads or so. Um, Short circuits can occur in plugs and power cords or inside the device itself if there is any fault in the appliance or it, its wiring or even if it is overloaded. Some, and sometimes the wiring insulation in sensitive electronic equipment fails because of frequent heating and frequent cooling caused by voltage surges and thereby increasing the risk of spark in electrical wires. Our friend thermographic analysis is such a fantastic tool that it can really uh, um, help you a lot. In a very recent experience of mine, one of the hotel operator called me that uh, Ambani family is getting um, their marriage in Udaipur. So there is a prerequisite and why don't you, Mr. Darkar, send me a certificate? I said, I won't do that. I need to send somebody to Udaipur to check it. And when we went to this five star hotel we, we we could see 159 degree temperature on the terminals uh, they were loose and uh, we just tightened it and you can see here from 159 the temperature came down 38 so thermographic uh, analysis is fantastic tool uh, we normally recommend that even hotels or hospitals uh, the walls should be thermographically analyzed if the cables during the interior have got damaged uh, and we know how the many times unplanned interior happens. So this is something which can give you insight of the walls uh, and the cables, uh, cables can really be indicated if they were uh, doing this. So whether it is uh, improper electrical system, unskilled workmanship, poor maintenance, procurement of low cost devices for power distribution, non-compliance to regulations or uh, ignorance of standard, it is sure that giving priority to cost saving as compared to safety can cause high risk of to lives and property from electrical fires every day. Thank you so much, Dr. Sir, for sharing your valuable inputs on the status of electrical fire safety in India and also highlighting the important, importance of selecting good quality wires and cables and also talking about you know, uh, other electrical safety practices. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now, in this uh, Moja for Industry develop, uh, Development debate on electrical safety tips for rainy season, I would like to invite Mr. Srigopal Kabraji. Today, Mr. Srigopal Kabra will share his expert opinion on why it is essential to have extra precaution in the area of gears and cables during one day. Now, I would like to take an attention of everyone 
and we would like to take help of mojo and pankaj ji and haron to talk on this subject on very strongly we have been all talking about the safety i'll take a recently which is a most upcoming prestigious national monument you call it like a central vista project of the new parliament is coming up cpwd is taking care of this project and you all will surprise that they have specified a forest fire the place from our country is going to control the prime minister president prime minister vice president member of parliament secretary all will be sitting there and if you look into their electrical specification pankaj ji i can share you this and i request on this platform that we all should write letter to prime minister and they say ajit doval and maximum people we should write and see that their specification is changed for bus bar in few places they are given electric bus bar and some places sandwich bus bar so even the project like even central vista if we are compromising how can we think that common man will understand about the quality this is a big question first of all as a common man people buy house once in life or twice in life maximum i am quite fortunate that i got i mean right now in 6 house and i have been sitting to 7 house there is a different case all together but then there is the lack of knowledge in common man and the lack of knowledge by architect all the architects interested in my friends and i have been big advisor that in architecture and engineering there are course also there should be one mini course or on electrical safety i think so which fsi can arrange from rr cable we can support but there must be some kind of training is required for electrical safety we all are playing with the safety of our people one is insulation second is conductor we all know that bias in 2011 or 2013 they made a common classification for building wire which like because it generally we are the largest cable exporter so i will keep talking building on house wire and panel wire where now herald can herald will can explain us that in uk which is represented basic for panel wire they have bs6231 for building wire they have bs6004 different specification whereas in india now for panel wire and house wire how can be a single specification this is a big challenge happening so what people have moved moved from class to two class wire conductor first of all flexible wire itself is a round product but since we cannot talk as well for everything but at least from class 5 to class 2 conductor should have been come immediately and after that how can we follow as a india should follow the ic standard or the standard is a better choice most of the electrical products are inferior in terms of global standard but on this platform i would like to tell not a single country in the world not a single country in the world there is a bangladesh myanmar or africa there is no wire as such fls wire only in india one company started other follow cpwd pwd all consultancy firm they write fls wire flexible wire which in india they are using as a house wire or in most kalam 14 by 0.6 uh, standard for this also i have to like to use on this platform not because since we got factory in bangladesh and we export to develop country and other developed country everywhere but there is a not a single country in the world where a uh, sorry flexible wire is there 
as a housewife. Because housewife, see, we don't want to repair what mistake we did in the past. Housewife was a reserve category for small scale industries. That's why one company started this wire as an industrial wire, and everyone is following this. But now this time has come. This will help Indian economy also in terms of power saving, safety of the product. Plus, India is going to be a global player in terms of electric industries. So, if you have a single standard for local and global, this will reduce the cost to the company and we will reach to a particular level. I request Mojo to also raise the subject on electrical fire safety. Awesome. Thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Sikabalpuro, for your insights and you know, giving a kind of uh, perspective why it is essential to have a kind of standardized and especially in the uh, field of uh, wires and cables and follow the global standards. Now, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Harald Bissouza, uh, Regional Commercial Manager BASIC. Mr. Harald joined British Approval Services for Cables, that is BASIC, in the year 2019. Mr. Harald will share a detailed insight on cable standardization and value of approval cables for approved cables for electrical safety. Welcome, Mr. Harald. Thank you, Mr. Subhaji, for the introduction and uh, giving this opportunity for me to speak about my experience in the cables and uh, how the standardization of cables and uh, quality of cables should be measured. And there, where I will speak about few points that why there should be a standardization and why we should be securing or making our country or safe safe place now what functions controlled by cables as you can see mr pankaj Zarkar said inside the building for everything from starting to the power distribution to you know nowadays in the digital world all the telecom cables and everything it is all controlled by the cable. So cables are a very important part of the building operation, which uh, you all must agree. So there is often a confusion which uh, Mr. Kabra Saba has addressed, FRLS. There are two types of cables. There is also a confusion about fire retardant cable or a fire reaction cable, which we call it FR cable. And there is a fire resistant cable or a fire survival cable. These are two different cables by design. Fire resistance cables are only for the circuit integrity. It is at the at the end when the fire is caught. It is to you know lighten up the firefighting system, the fire 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 lights. I mean uh, the emergency lights. They have to perform. The lifts has to perform for the evacuation. For all those purpose, circuit the lights needs to work. All these equipment needs to work. That is the reason. It is. It could be one hour or two hour. It is nowadays one twenty minutes. Test is also come. So it, those people should supply a power. They are specific specific circuits, separate circuits for the power supply. When it comes to fire reaction cable, I would say that all cables that are used within the building should have a fire reaction properties. That's what the European Union and UK has done. Any cable inside the building need to have pass. A minimum properties of the cable it could be a smoke it could be a flame propagation it could be a flaming droplets uh, because of the melting of the sheath or insulation or sheathing materials as mr kabraji said there are different standards for the different application in uh, british standard whereas our is standard or ic standard which is our is standard is basically based on the ic standard which gives a lot of flexibility. You know, you change the design. Everything is tough in a one design, one standard to make any type of cables. That is one of the reasons that is a issue in this market today. Manufacturers are making it what they want or the, the end user wanted to reduce the cost, which is a serious issue. CPR is something we need to bring in our India as well, because so far everybody knows fire resistance cable, that is CWS test commonly in India and Asia, but something kind of CPR that uh, Europe has brought in, Europe or UK has brought in, we need to bring in India, which I'm trying to work towards with the, with the regulated bodies uh, and civil defense agencies here. Thank you so much, Mr. Harold, for uh, sharing important details on cable standardization and value of approved cables for electrical safety. So 
to start the panel discussion uh, to start with mr dhakar sir uh, could you highlight some of the important steps to be taken to ensure electrical safety especially during this monsoon season so i think uh, monsoon brings many challenges for all of us uh, specifically to electrical installations and uh, i think uh, we have to really take care of uh, several aspects uh, um, to me earthing are your earthing protection systems uh, our lightning protection systems are of utmost important uh, we have started using many electronic equipments uh, many gadgets which are very expensive and very often these two aspects uh, of earthing and lightning are neglected in fact uh, i have seen many high rise site uh, uh, sir was just mentioning that he is going to shift to a 60 story building um, of uh, oberai in mumbai and uh, it is so sad that many times uh, even during the construction practices the earthing protections are not considered you know not uh, simultaneously take of course there is a good awareness uh, particularly on high rise building our is standards are very stringent but uh, Uh, i feel pity that uh, this is something which gets neglected during the construction site uh, it is very important to protect our uh, laborers and also engineers who are working at the sites and it, uh, specifically in areas where there are going to be lightning potential is very high like city of mumbai uh, city of calcutta the specifically the um, cities where we get uh, good lightning uh, i think uh, we have to take care of lightning very very well uh, just follow is that is going to be safeguarding you but uh, also periodical checking of this lightning system uh, also earthing systems is of extreme importance so i focus on these two areas which uh, which can really help you a lot other than Um, other normal routine things which one has to take care uh, in terms of uh, your boxes which are coming on uh, terraces and uh, any any places where panels are getting exposed uh, please make sure that they are uh, protected with right ips the termination are well secured harold as well as pankaj ji was uh, mentioning you know about the kind of quality cable that needs to be as well as the installation part and uh, this thing uh, good earthing is required so uh, what makes our cables wires and cables safe for use we are the only company in the world which got a 29 international approval for signal factory the only company and we are all for the we are the largest company we are the rich company so we don't compromise anything in quality but ultimately my humble request the builder the consultant the contractor they should take utmost care of the safety of the people and for electrical if they use everyone all good product with good contact does not cost much much it's a question of mindset uh, to reduce the cost because see unfortunately this wire and cable are the invisible product so there is no beauty factor is there so people don't focus on that that's a big challenge also Otherwise, uh, switch. They will put nice switch, nice fan, nice lighting. But in terms of wire, it's a behind the wall, so nobody is taking care. So this concludes today's webinar on electrical safety tips, part by Captain Electrical Industries. Established in the year 1991, Captain is one of the most reputed and reliable manufacturers of electrical accessories in Maharashtra, India. Glass range of modular switches, popularly known as Glassy, has been our new introduction to our product range. This range is a fine blend of art and switch technology. Our Glassy range will enhance the beauty of your walls in your home or office. Here are modular series where safe life begins with us. These are designed and manufactured aesthetically by maintaining high level of engineering excellence. Captain Electrical Industries present a new range of the product Captain Wire and Cable. As a wire and cable manufacturer, we are committed to offering only the best materials possible. 
Captain Wire and Cable offers the highest quality products available. It ensures better reliability, energy efficiency, highest level of safety. The raw materials used during the manufacturing process are only from the pure electrolyte grade copper wire. Our insulated copper wire and flame retardant PVC products get the job done right and are capable of handling 85 degrees operating temperature along with excellent fire and heat resistance. The end result of our manufacturing proficiency enabled to perform and serve uninterruptedly at adverse working and atmospheric conditions. Captain wire and cable safety precautions you should consider in order to create a safer work environment. Captain Electrical Industries Connecting Nations Please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Also, to access industry news on the go, visit our website www.mojaforindustry.com Goodbye.